This is an exciting time for tech you put on your face. I'm Bridget Carey. This is your CNET Update. The next wave of virtual and augmented reality headsets are moving from the fantasy hype dream world into the real world. Microsoft's HoloLens is now available for pre-order if you happen to be a computer program developer with $3,000 to spare. Microsoft is only offering the pre-order sales by invitation and even then it will not arrive until March 30th in the U.S. and Canada. Microsoft wants to limit these early models in order for programmers to create a library of apps. Now remember, HoloLens is not virtual reality. You can see through the screen. Images just sort of float around your field of vision. That's augmented reality. You could think of it as mixed reality. We also know a little more about the unit itself. It has two gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of storage, and it weighs about 1.2 pounds. It's wireless and the battery should last for two to three hours. Packed into the visor are multiple sensors to know your movement, along with cameras, microphones, and a light sensor to detect the environment around you. And that's not the only headset getting attention. Now anyone can pre-order the virtual reality gaming headset by HTC. It's called the HTC Vive, and it costs $800. The first batch is arriving to customers on April 5th. If $800 sounds a bit pricey, that's because it's much more powerful than other headsets. It has a motion tracking system that lets you walk around a room. There are these sensors you put in the room so it knows how you're moving your whole body, and it also comes with its own wireless motion controller sticks. But you won't be walking around too far in the room. It needs a cord to be connected to a powerful gaming PC. And virtual reality gaming will also get a big push from Sony this year with PlayStation VR. There have been a few early game demos of the PlayStation VR, which may be out this summer, and it's going to use move hand controllers. But perhaps the next generation will not need you to hold anything to navigate the world. Maybe you just wear a glove. Sony has filed a patent application for a glove controller that would detect how your fingers are positioned and a pressure sensor to know how much force you're applying. And you can even get some pulsing feedback on your hand to know what you're interacting with. The patent was filed back in 2014, but it's only coming out now. The Nintendo Power Glove was ahead of its time, but maybe this is what the Power Glove should have been. That's it for this Tech News Update. You can head to CNET.com for more. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.